Hello everybody, Caden here today with another episode of Wildlife Park. And today we're back building a grizzly bear exhibit in this little valley type thing uh, over to the left of the park entrance, I guess? Uh, opposite the side we've been working on previously in the last three videos. Anyway, uh, you can see I'm building a little cave there. This was originally meant to be their shelter, or their main shelter, but I uh, ended up building a second one later, you'll see. Uh, this exhibit, I have to say, is... <laughs> I don't know, it, it, it surprised me when I was building it. Um, I was expecting, you know, to do a like, super small exhibit, you know, not too much stuff going on inside of it. Um, and I ended up doing this massive, massive build. Well, I say massive, massive build. It's probably, it's not too much bigger than most of the stuff we built on dinos, so it's a fairly regular sized exhibit. Um, but still, uh, it, it got a much grander scope than I was expecting it to. Which was cool. It was really cool to see that and like watch the whole build come together. I really enjoyed it. I uh, had a lot of fun making it. Uh, this build, I'm gonna say, you know, you guys are lucky, <laughs> in all honesty, when you watch these time lapses. Because uh, what? You, you guys get to see this whole exhibit come together in about 15 minutes, right? Uh, and it took me about, what, near a, a little over an hour, I think, to, to put this whole thing together. So, yeah, yeah that, I mean, that's that's awesome that you guys can oh wait no would it be i think actually it was a bit under an hour it must have been about 56 minutes or something like that yeah because i only had to make two renders instead of three um anyway you can see i'm doing a lot of rock work here uh and actually uh this exhibit's a bit different for the, the zoo considering so far the zoo i haven't really made any rock wall type things well i did one in the kangaroo exhibit but anyway this exhibit uh doesn't have any fences it is all rock walls uh, which was not originally the plan. The plan was originally like, oh, okay, I'm gonna, you know, go and put a fence in the back of it. But uh, I, I ended up scrapping that when I realized there really wasn't space for a fence. Uh, just because of the way I'd built it. Uh, but I think it looked cool in the end. It very much has this, like, Rocky Mountains, maybe Cascadia kind of feel uh, that, I, that I really like. I, I, I like that idea. I, I really like that build style right now, and I think that's mostly because of dinos and the fact... Uh, the Ice Age Park we've been working on is very much that style and very much has that kind of the same feeling as this exhibit does. So I think it was a pretty easy transition to do. Anyway, um, as you can see here, uh, yeah, I, I realized later that, you know, I, I kind of... <laughs> there were a lot of points where I really could have used World Edit to just make things a lot easier, but I didn't, and I kind of regret that now. Uh, cause I have this, I have this tendency to just build things by hand, uh, all the time. Even if I have tools that allow me to build a lot faster or quicker or like easier, I still usually just build by hand. And I mean, I don't really think there's anything wrong with that. I mean, I, 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 I prefer it over most stuff, but well, I guess I should specify for terraining, for terraining. Cause a lot of people will use like Voxel Sniper and, uh, World Edit to kind of do terraining super quickly and easily. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, honestly. I mean, like, if those people want to do that and they're really good at it, I don't care. I, I just int tend to do things by hand, but granted, I also do much smaller builds than most people do, so, you know, it, it, it's it's easier. Um, anyway, uh, oh yeah, I was talking about renders. Uh, so there's going to be a point where it jumps renders in a, in a second, because you can only do, like, 30-minute uh, renders in replay mod, which is a bit annoying. Uh, but, <laughs> so I had to do two for this one. Which brings me back to a certain point that I wanted to make, and that is, um, I am going to try and make a second uh, recording for this this week. So two Wildlife Park episodes this week, uh, mostly because I know you guys have really been enjoying it. The the first two, I think, are over a thousand views now, and I think the Galapagos tortoise one is at like seven or eight hundred, something like that. It, it's doing really well. Uh, maybe it's higher than that, I don't really know. I haven't checked recently. Uh, but you guys really seem to be enjoying these episodes, so I figure I'm going to start do trying to do a bit more uh, Wildlife Park. I will say though, I probably won't do many more exhibits quite this scale uh, soon, just because doing two renders, setting the time lapse up for this, recording it, recording the voice over, um, rendering the whole video together, like all this stuff, it takes a long time. Like it, it it's about a two, it, well, with everything else I do, right? Like you know, like hanging out with friends and stuff. Uh, getting other videos ready to record, stuff like that. I mean, it, it's about a two-day event for me to make these videos. So I, I make the only reason I'm still doing them at this rate really is just because they're doing really well, and uh, I love all the support they're getting. So 
kind of motivates me to keep making them, but they, they do take a while. Uh, they aren't easy to make, but I'm, I'm sure as I get better at using the replay mod, it'll become faster. I mean, I think actually one of the biggest time killers with this one was more just the, well, it took a long time to build, it took a long time to render, and then, well, it, it's gonna take a long time to render all this when I finish. But anyway, um, as you can see with that high point there, that's gonna be a waterfall. I wasn't, I wasn't originally gonna do a waterfall, but then I was like, oh, well, grizzly bears, you know. What animal do we usually associate with grizzly, with grizzly bears here in the States and probably in Canada? Well, salmon, because they, they eat the salmon when they go up the river. So, oh gosh, my voice. <laughs> I really should have gotten some water. Um, uh, yeah, I, I recorded a video before the, I did the voiceover for this, uh, and <laughs> evidently I needed to get some hydration. Oh, also, so you can see here, I am channeling out uh, stuff for a river. Also, that concrete box I completely forgot to mention. That is a second shelter. The shelter that I was like, Oh, I'm going to put this into exhibit. I don't know why, but I will. Even though they have shelter already. Um, I mean, the main reason I actually put it in is because I've realized, you know, the bears probably would like somewhere where humans can't look into where they're sleeping because people can look into the uh, into the cave pretty easily. It's it, It's kind of open like right up to the pathway so if you get to the right point you can just see directly in um anyway though uh you can see me expanding this concrete box i i don't really do much with this shelter to be honest and i think that was also it was mostly just because i realized like you know it's not really going to be on camera mad much shelters aren't really the the big focal point of the builds let's be honest here uh you guys aren't watching me uh, for me to build a shelter or like, you know, somewhere for the animals to sleep, you're probably watching for me to build an exhibit or do terrain or do any of that kind of stuff, because... Yeah, anyway. Um, I'm gonna edit this lake next, I think, soon. Is it? Or do I go back to the pathways? I don't know. Uh, something you'll... Oh, I'm, oh yeah, I'm doing more terrain over here. Something you'll know if you've watched my videos for a while is I'm very sporadic with what I build. I don't necessarily build one thing at once. Like, I kind of wish I would, because <laughs> it would make these time lapses so much easier to do if I just like stuck with a project and like, or not stuck with the project, but like stuck with one area of the project, finished it, and moved on to the next area instead of just jumping back and forth. Although I will say most of the time when I like disappear off the screen, that's not me uh, like building anything else. That's usually just me popping back to look back at the build, see like how is it looking, stuff like that. Um, I decided to do this like moss cobble cobblestone and a site that like channel for the river to be honest i i kind of feel like i really overdid it like it, it kind of seems a bit too over the top in my eyes and i don't know if that's if it looks too over the top or something but i don't know i kind of feel like i made it too much also um <laughs> If I could mention one regret I really have with this build, uh, it's that I didn't really do much with the uh, landscaping. Well, not landscaping, the uh, the ground cover. Not the ground cover, the ground itself, I guess. Because I realize ground cover usually means grass and bushes. Uh, I didn't do much, too much with changing the floor out. Um, you'll see here, uh, this whole left side of the river uh, just becomes, uh, what is it? Uh, like tons of podzol and gravel and cobble and coarse dirt. Uh, you can start to see me doing that here. Uh, and I didn't continue that through much of the exhibit, in all honesty. And I kind of wish I had. I mean, I can always go back and edit it. Uh, but I wish I'd spent maybe a tiny bit more time on it. Granted, that would have pushed me over like an hour or so I would have had to make like three renders, which would not have been fun in the slightest. But, uh, you know, it, it would have been what it was. But anyway, uh, I'm just adding detail to the concrete box, the little detail I do add. <laughs> uh, and here you can see uh, me throwing in all of the ground blocks. And I do think it looks really cool. It has this very kind of like arboreal forest look to it. And, and I love that. I mean, I love mega taiga biomes. I think they look really cool. They're one of my favorite default biomes in the game. Uh, except for maybe the the old, old taiga biomes where it was like snowy everywhere, because those were really cool. I, I loved those fo snowy forests. They were super cool. I mean, I guess those are still in the game, aren't they? They're just a lot rarer now. Anyway, um... Yeah, I'm I did it around the, the pond, but for some reason I didn't- just was like, nope, I'm not doing it anywhere else, and didn't really bother finishing that, which I kind of regret doing again. I, I, I think it would have tied the exhibit together way more if 
either A, I just didn't do it at all, or B, if I did it everywhere. Like, doing kind of halfway doing it doesn't look great. Uh, yeah. I will say, this this series uh, is definitely getting me far more familiar with using the concrete blocks, uh, which I think is good. I, I'm, I, I like concrete blocks now uh, quite a lot. I mean, I liked them back in Di I like them in Dinos because we made the lab out of them, but man, I, I'm really getting used to these concrete blocks here. I uh, used some chisel blocks to kind of add a bit of a frame to the to the shelter, uh, but yeah, I, mean, I didn't really do too much there. Um, and now I'm doing a tiny bit of uh, <laughs> texturing. Really, oh, man, it's it's just so minimal. Uh, but I think at this point I was kind of getting a bit tired of doing texturing because I mean it takes a while to do it. Granted, there's probably world edit commands I can use uh, that would do this for me. But you know me, I'm <laughs> resistant to world edit for some reason. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that's about as much. Uh, do I do a little bit more texturing? I guess it's when I'm like creating the pathway. Which is the funny thing. I started to use it as a pathway towards the end of the build, which doesn't make much sense to me because it's like, if, if I was using it as like actual ground cover and then suddenly it becomes like where the bears are walking, that doesn't really make much sense, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyway, over here, I'm kind of destroying a bit of the pathway and just adding in these rocks and, uh, yeah. That was a bit of a camera mistake there, I think. But uh, I'm kind of like working on the pathway itself, adding railings and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> nothing really important. You'll see it at the very end of the video. It, it, it just kind of existed. It just was something I did. I added in a bit of a rock wall there, or not rock wall. I just kind of like added some rock feature there because I thought that looked a bit cool. Um, but yeah, I think now I'm going to do the trees, uh, which are actually lifted from dinos. They're the, uh, the spruce, or not like the, what did I call them? Cypress? Or the, the small pine trees I made using fences and stuff. Uh, so I, I used the same kind of material we used for the pangolin exhibit, and I think they, they turned out okay. I'm still fairly new to making custom trees, so these aren't the greatest, but I think overall I'm getting a lot better with it. Uh, I get better each time I build them, so that's always good. It's good to know you're improving. Which is, I mean, I think one of the cool things about this exhibit is it definitely is showing me how much I've improved recently with doing exhibits like this, because, you know, it, it, I don't know, it's always cool. I think that's what I like about creative mode, is creative mode... Survival mode is, like, a good way, I feel like, to learn how to build sometimes, but creative mode can, like, just show you how much you've learned after a while, because, like, Dinos is where I've learned most of the stuff, but it's definitely a good showcase of it. Uh, and then I'm just coming around, adding leaves onto the trees. I think I had a couple of regular spruce trees in, just because, uh... I didn't feel like building any more custom trees, and I was like, I need a few more, so we'll just we'll just plant some spruce trees in. Which which I think was a good decision, you know, it kinda kinda just made it pop a bit more. I will say one problem with the shaders is that this whole I might have to set the time a bit differently, because I have daylight uh, cycle turned off because I don't really like it becoming night during time lapses and stuff like that, so yeah. Anyway, um, in there, I'm, I think I'm just placing some mushrooms in the cave. Uh, and now I'm just gonna do some ground coverage. So leaves and grasses. I, what is this? I think that's barley. I put it in just because I really liked the look of it. I, mean, I, I don't know if it makes much sense that it's in there, but I, I thought like having a bit of color. Realistically, I should have thrown flowers in, and I don't really think I threw any flower bushes in. And I kind of regret that. Maybe I'll have to do that uh, in post, uh, post episode, I guess. Uh, just because, yeah. But anyway, I mean, I think it looks really cool overall. I think it does. I'm quite happy with this. Uh, I, I have realized placing foliage is definitely a better way to get the look I want And at first. So, like, place foliage first and then bone meal just to fill the gaps. Definitely has a much better result. I will say, I, I think I may have went overboard on the grass with this and some of the foliage in places, just because... I don't know, I don't really feel like a forest would not naturally be this dense, but, you know, overall, I think I think it looks pretty good overall. Oh yeah, I'm trying to get the spruce trees to grow, and they just were not growing anywhere, so, yeah, we don't really get very many of them. I think I only put two in, yeah. But anyway, oh, I've got a third one in. I didn't even remember that. I placed that little, like, stump there, and I, don't, I didn't even do anything with it, which is kind of weird, I guess. 
Anyway, um, we're about at the end of the time lapse now, so... Yeah, I think that's all I've got to say for now, so uh, enjoy the last little tour, and I'll see you guys in the end of the video. Alright guys, we're back, and um, as you can see, we have a finished exhibit. Now I don't know what's been said in the time lapse because I'm recording this not too long after I finished the build, but I'm pretty happy with this. I think I think it looks pretty good overall. I like it. Um, I did put some paintings down, um, and I spent a lot of time trying to find a grizzly bear portrait, and I don't think there is one, which is unfortunate. See, you can do like shift click to like get a specific one of these paintings. I wish you could do that with the animals so I didn't have to like just psych it all through them all the time because it's really annoying. Uh, but anyway, here is our uh, grizzly bear exhibit, and I think it looks pretty good. I should probably show you guys the stuff you couldn't see. Should die. Uh, here's the cave that I probably won't show off in the time lapse because I don't like I don't like making the camera go in tiny spaces like this. It's really annoying. Um, but yeah, this is our little cave. We got a lot of little mushrooms in it because I thought that would look cool. Um, I didn't put any fallen. How did you? How did they manage to? Okay. What did he do? What did it do? Okay, maybe it did that. So if I do that, it might not be able to get up. Okay, we're gonna just we're just gonna edit that rock all of it there. All right. Um. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, we got a, a couple nice things. Uh. This is the second shelter I built. Oh, there's actually a bear in it. That's cool. I built the second shelter because. Uh, I didn't really think the cave would make a good one, considering you can just look into it. And I figure bears would probably like a bit more privacy than that, so I built them a shelter you can't look into. So, woo! It has no detail or anything in it. I, I, I could not be bothered to build anything at that point. Um, anyway, we got these. We got some custom trees. Uh, I think I'm starting to get better at them. I don't think I'm great, but it's getting there, which is good. Which is good. Um, anyway. I don't really think I did too much more than that. I mean, I, I'm sure most of this is gonna be able to be seen as I build it. This project took like a, almost an hour to do and it, oh man, it, it kind of made me tired. I'm very tired after building this, but I still think it's really cool. It's It was a lot of fun to build, um, yeah. Anyway, I guess uh, let me know what you guys wanna see next episode, uh, which might go over here somewhere. You can pick re really, I guess, I don't know if I'll talk about that in the time loss. I'm just gonna say it here as well in case I don't. Um, I've kind of, I know the Grizzly Bear, I don't think that was a suggestion and I kind of built it anyway, but that's because, and I'm really happy I've decided to do a regular world this time instead of a super flat world because just seeing terrain has been super helpful with coming up with exhibit ideas because I'll just see something random and I'll be like, oh my gosh, that would make a beautiful exhibit like this area here. Uh, so yeah, like, I don't know, but I I, uh, I am trying to take suggestions and do suggestions. Um, I mean, we could also just do like a building, or I could show you guys building the pathways or something. Uh, although that's kind of weird to show off, I think, just because I don't usually build the pathways and all like the decorations till after I do exhibits, uh, just because, you know, I, I want to know where everything is and how to do the pathways. Anyway, I think it's probably me talking enough. Um, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what animals you want to see in the next episode. In the next episodes, um, let me know what you think of the exhibit. And until next time, guys. See ya.